Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. In tonight's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Stussy Spring 2021 Billiard Knit Sweater in the cream and the navy that I picked up from General Pants. So this one's actually got a bit of a story to it. <laughs> so about a year ago, I saw Stussy announcing via Instagram that their spring 2021 collection was now available. Now I was scrolling through the post that they did about their spring 2021 collection and I saw a knit sweater that I just thought was a really nice design. It was the billiard sweater or billiard, however you pronounce it. Uh, it was a knit sweater with a bunch of cue balls all lined up in a triangle that spelt out Stussy. I thought it was an awesome little knit, a nice little fun knit there. So I went on their online store to see if it was available. Literally within 24 hours. I think it was only like an hour or two after they had posted the announcement that it was available. All the sizes were sold out and I was like, ah, well, no luck in me getting that one anytime soon. I decided to check Grailed to see if anyone was selling one second hand for at least a reasonable price. You know, maybe something like $10, $15 above retail. I wouldn't have mind paying that. But there was only one person selling one in my size and they were asking double retail for it. And I was like, yeah, nah, look, that's where I call it quits. Now, I actually totally forgot about this knit as it was over a year ago since the spring 2021 season came out. And then I was scrolling through Instagram again over the past week and I saw an advertisement from General Pants showcasing that knit again and i was like yo i forgot about this knit this was like isn't this like a year old and yeah i was correct it's like a year old but maybe it's just because australia always gets everything last general pants only had just gotten that knit in stock and i was like damn okay well if it's available i'll come in the reason that i saw the advertisement was because they were talking about a 25 percent off sale they were you know advertising the fact that they were having a big sale so i was like oh okay well i'll come suss it out not expecting this knit to actually be on sale and then when i loaded up the store page they had the cream color of this knit available in a 2xl 25 percent off and then they had a navy color which i didn't even know was an actual thing uh also available but the biggest size they had was an extra large so uh, yeah, not a 2XL, but it was 25% off. And I was like, look, I missed out when this first came out in the spring 2021 collection. It's here in front of me now for 25% off in a 2XL in the cream, an extra large in the navy. Let's just go for it. So that's exactly what I picked up from General Pants. I picked up the 2XL in the cream and an XL in the navy. Hopefully the XL won't be too uh, tight on me. I'm generally a 2XL when it comes to Stussy because I have, uh, well you guys have seen it on the channel, I have a few of their button up shirts that I like to wear in summer and a 2XL fits very nicely from them so hopefully it shouldn't be too uh, tight on me with that extra large but I guess we'll find out. So yeah in today's video I'm going to be unboxing both and showcasing both guys so let's get into it. A year later I finally managed to get the knit. <laughs> let's check out how these Stussy knits turned out. It was actually also pretty wild. I totally forgot I had an account with uh, General Pants. <laughs> I haven't ordered for them. I checked my account in over two years. They just, I don't know, just don't stock brands that I buy from. And if they do stock brands that I'm interested in, uh, the only ones that I think I would be interested in from them is like Stussy and Thrasher. It's generally always at full price and not on sale. So I'm kind of like, eh, I could pay full price for this like Stussy or Thrasher piece. Or I could buy a second-hand one or other pieces. So yeah, the only reason I really picked these up was because I wanted this knit a year ago. I still want it now. It was on sale and in my size. Like it, it was all the little things just came together, and I was like, okay, well I guess I'll pick it up. <laughs> so yeah, let's open this up. This uh, recycled bag that uh, that they use for it is uh, pretty thick. So here we are. Get this out of the bag. So place it all down here we got a uh, very crinkled order number 2xl extra large 25% off beautiful that's what I want to see 
The first one on top that we get showcased to us is the cream. Although I don't know why I'm really blue at the moment, but the lighting isn't really showcasing it and the plastic on the bag isn't really showcasing the color too well either, but I'm sure we'll get to it. So uh, this knit, from what I know, is two, it is 100% cotton. So it isn't anything super warm. It's probably something that you would like it was intended to release in the uh, spring season. So something I'd probably wear in either spring or maybe in fall or autumn. Uh, probably not something in winter, just because it's not going to be warm enough unless I layer quite extensively underneath it. Uh, quite interestingly, this is the Stussy Australia one. As we can see by the tag there, it says Stussy Australia 2XL made in China. I don't know if this is going to be any different from the Stussy in the other regions. If it's going to be made from different materials, if it fits different, yada yada yada. So, um, I'm assuming it's universal. I'm assuming the Stussy Australia version of this knit fits exactly the same as the American one. I'm just going to assume. Showcasing the next color, here we have the navy, which I am actually liking more and more now that I actually see it. So we can see, here's the cue balls spelling out the Stussy. Uh, we'll get into that when I actually take them out of the bag. This one, if I can see it as well, yeah, is Stussy Australia. So. I, I don't know if there is going to be any difference between uh, the regions that you buy it from, but I assume it's all going to be the same. So I, I wouldn't stress too much. I'm assuming that they keep it pretty universal. So we'll get the navy one out of the bag first to showcase that. Yeah, so it definitely feels like cotton. It doesn't feel uh, as woolly. Uh, so it definitely wouldn't be made out of you know something like wool or... Um, polyester or anything like that. It does feel like a cotton knit sweater, but I'll just showcase it to you there. That's the design on it there. Flipping it over. Nothing on the back, but I mean, you don't really want anything on the back. Just looking at it, just like at the size and everything like that. I think the extra large will fit me. I think that'll be okay. Um, I don't think there's, I'm gonna have any issues with the sizing on this one. There we go. There's the, we'll put the, navy one over here let's grab the 2xl i'm assuming the extra the 2xl is just going to be uh less than an inch wider and longer that's generally the case when you go from an extra large to a 2xl it's just that little bit wider and longer so i'm assuming that's going to be the case we'll get this one out of the bag unfold it get that design out so we'll put that over here so here is the cream yeah, oh geez, actually it looks a lot wider than the extra large. And like, look at that, it's a very boxy fit. It's not actually as long as I thought it would be, which is awesome because I actually quite like my knits not super elongated. I actually like them quite boxy. And a couple of the knits that I've been wearing recently have been a bit too elongated for me. So having them boxier is perfect for me. So yeah, here is the 2XL in the cream. And, we've show and I've showcased you the extra large in the navy. What I'll do now is I'll just chuck one on after the other and showcase to you the differences. So for my measurements, I'm around 6'5". Um, I'm about 120 kilos at the moment, 115 to 120. So I'm a bit of a big guy. Um, and I'll tell you how I feel about the extra large and the 2XL and you'll see the differences on body. So yeah, let's get into it now that I've unboxed them guys and see how the knits look. Okay, so here is the cream or the natural or whatever color it was being labeled as on the website. So this is the 2XL on someone who's 6'5". Um, probably my normal measurements from shoulder to waist are probably like, or down to my belt is probably around 25 and a half to 26 inches. I don't know what that comes in at centimeters. So this is the 2XL coming down past my waist. So it's probably around about like 29 inches in length in total length. Width wise, I mean, it's probably looking at around 60 centimeters, maybe a little bit less or more. Kind of hard to gauge with the width unless I actually get a tape measure out and measure it. <laughs> but hopefully that gives everyone a good idea of the size. Um, hopefully that helps out. So yeah, judging by this, the 2XL looks like it'll fit quite well. Um, I'm gonna be very worried about getting stains on this and stuff like that, but um, yeah, I suppose because it's 100% cotton, 
I could machine wash it, I guess. Um, I would have to look into the care instructions down here to see if you can machine wash it. I'm assuming you can, but some knits they prefer that you don't. Um, yeah, no, very happy with the 2XL. It's material, because it's 100% cotton, is very lightweight and breathable. Awesome for spring where it's cooling down from summer. Not so good heading into winter though. I wouldn't want to wear something like this in the winter time. I would probably, as I like guessed based off, you know, the material and the look when I saw the post and what it was made of, I think I would, yeah, be wearing this spring and then maybe into autumn with a layer underneath or a layer over the top. But yeah, definitely not in the colder seasons. This will not keep you warm. But yeah, it's a nice little like extra layer to chuck on for sure. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this first color, the cream in the 2XL. But we'll move on now to the navy in the extra large. Damn, okay, maybe the maybe the extra large is the way to go. Because <laughs> yeah, the shoulders line up a lot better. Um, the length is still a bit too long. I mean, I just, this is a personal preference of mine. I like my knits like quite up near where the, my belt buckle would be, so quite a shorter length. But um, I know that the ongoing knit uh, standard is to have them like quite long. But I, I wish it was a little bit shorter, but again, I can always just, you know, like tuck it up to here and it'll look a little bit nicer. But yeah, definitely the width, it looks a lot nicer, I think on body um, for me, at least with the extra large. And one thing I did notice when putting it on, this is way more purple than I thought it was. I like when I bought it and it said navy, I was like, oh yeah, cool. It'll be a really dark navy, like a um, like a Ralph Lauren knit or something like that. But I mean, I don't know if like my lighting is highlighting it, but this is like, I mean, that's obviously purple, but it, it's a lot more purple than I initially thought. Maybe yeah, I just have like a weird standard of what navy is, but this looks, yeah. Not as navy as I thought it would be. <laughs> but yeah, 100% cotton as well. Same goes with the cream. I would be wearing this uh, not in winter, but in spring and in autumn for sure. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Um, it's an awesome little knit though. I think I'll catch myself probably wearing the navy more than the cream, just cause the cream, you know, you spill something on it. That's, oh yeah, yeah. So I think the navy will probably get more wear, but I definitely like the color of the cream more than the navy, because yeah, again, I came into this thinking that the navy would be a lot darker, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, I suppose. Um, yeah, well, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is the extra large is better or the 2XL? Um, all in all, hey, I'm happy with it. I love the design of it. I came to it for the design. It's a simple little knit. It was on sale. Like again, all those things coming together. So I'm really happy with it, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on it. Do you like either of the colors? Which one's your preference? And which one's the better size that I should have gone with? But um, either way, happy that extra large isn't too small. Like, see, as you can see, I've got heaps of room, so that's all good. Uh, but let me know all your thoughts and opinions on it in either of the colors and everything like that down in that comment section below. Well, there we go guys, that's it all unboxed. Um, I'll definitely have to keep my eyes open on general pants more often to see if they get last year's seasonal stuff in because there were some fleece jackets uh, that I was interested in from a couple seasons last year, um, but they sold out instantly as well on Stussy's online store. But hopefully if general pants get them in, I'll have to cop them. But uh, yeah, as for these knits, very happy that I finally managed to score them a year later. On sale, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> I ended up paying a lot less. You know, I can't complain, can't complain at all. But yeah, no, um, so again, just to showcase it, this is the cream color now that the camera's kind of fixed it up a little bit. There we go. Very lightweight, lightweight knit. A uh, lot lighter than the other knits that I normally rock, like the uh, undercover ones that I have or the Supreme ones and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely gonna be wearing this a lot more. Gonna be wearing the navy. Hopefully we can showcase like kind of what I mean by it has like a purple tint to it. It's not, I guess like a traditional navy. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm, again, maybe I'm used to the really, really dark navy as like the normal navy, but that could just be me, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I'm gonna have to be on the hunt. Stussy's been releasing some really solid stuff over the past like 18 months. There's been some really awesome, not even collaborative pieces, just nice seasonal pieces. 
Um, yeah. You're going to have to keep my eyes and ears out uh, for General Pants and all the other Australian retailers because apparently Stussy Australia just likes to release their stuff a year later or something. <laughs> we'll have to see. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, really happy with the guys. Uh, now that it's all unboxed, now that we've done it all, I've showcased to you how both the sizes look. Uh, I'd love to hear anything that you have to say about them, the knits, or anything that Stussy's been releasing over the past 18 months down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to do more unboxing videos, unboxing the various things that I get, you just gotta give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, comment in that comment section down below, and of course, the best indicator of them all, subscribe to the channel. Now, uh, last month, we tried to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,345 subscribers. We were one sub off on the last day of the month and we didn't get it. We were so, so close, but we unfortunately didn't get it. I'm just gonna set it as the new milestone uh, for this month, guys, for June. Uh, hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, you tell a mate, they tell a mate, etc., etc., we can hit three, th oh, sorry, three, three, four, five, before the end of June. That's everything I gotta say about these knits though, guys. You'll definitely be seeing me rock these in the next couple videos and from now on, because you know, you gotta wear it. You can't just chuck it in your wardrobe. You gotta wear the stuff that you get. <laughs> uh, so yeah, very happy with these. Definitely gonna keep my eyes on what Stussy's releasing and if General Pants gets it in or not. But uh, yeah, until the next Stussy video, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next unboxing video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.